783. Somebody take them in a different order if you want. Uh, thank you very much, uh, gentlemen of the committee. Uh, if I could first take up uh, Senate Bill 1353. Uh, uh, Senate Bill 1353 is actually uh, an outgrowth of a Senate uh, resolution that had passed several years ago. Uh, I tried a Senate resolution and then a Senate bill that the House did not in place, which is absolutely mystifying to me. What this is, is it is a transparency bill as it relates uh, to the budgetary process. And this is not an outgrowth of any recent political phenomena. It's something that I think is uh, been needed for quite some some period of time and, and fundamentally what it provides is transparency transparency to the entire general assembly as opposed to those few who end up being conferees on the budget and it requires the chairman of the house appropriations and the chairman of the senate finance committee uh, which concurrently with the issuance of the budget report to specifically identify any non-state appropriation any item in the conference report which was not included in the general appropriation bill by either the house or the senate and any items that represent legislation that failed in either the house or the senate during the regular or special session uh, so what this does is that if in fact uh, there are earmarks in the in the sense of dollars or there or insertions in language uh, that have previously been considered by the General Assembly and rejected or not hadn't been considered, that it must be disclosed so every member of the General Assembly is fully aware of it. And I know you gentlemen are passionate about transparency and I look forward to a favorable recommendation. You want the, in here the name of the member of the General Assembly <coughs> uh, and inserted the provision of the conference. It could be a bunch of them. Well, it could be, and I think they ought to take pride of ownership. <laughs> all right, and all right, does anybody, anybody want to speak in favor of this? Anybody want to speak? Yes. Anybody, you like it. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, Steve Rossi, the Family Foundation, we support the bill. Anybody else? Uh, I'm Monica Sanders. I'm chairman of the Millsex Two Party Patriots, and we support anything that does transparency. Okay. Anybody else want to speak? Virginia Coalition for Open Government. Anybody else? Richmond Tea Party. Okay. Anybody, is the coffee party here? <laughs> anybody else? Uh, anybody want to speak against the bill? Uh, anybody from the finance committee? <laughs> I'm here. Right, there Senator you Quayle's here. I move the report. Okay. Just, I got a question. I want to make sure we understand this. Um, we, want the, we get the narrative description dollar amount anyway, right? That's on the. That's on the Yes. Yeah. I mean, this isn't that, that complicated. Adding the, who, who asked for the Well, they just put in parentheses the name. The Senator Edwards. Right. Right. Any non state appropriation. Any non state agency appropriation. That's, that's in there anyway. Well, okay. These that, are insertions that are not right. included in the general appropriation. And then you want to say. Should that be non state? No, it's it's agency. Agency. Non -state agency Mr. Chairman, that's a friendly amendment. I move that amendment. All right, agency, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Number two, any item in the conference report uh, that was not in the general coach, uh, is this something that's new and different? It was not in either. Okay. I know it would shock you, Senator Edwards, and, and last year was an eye-opening experience for me as my first opportunity to serve as a budget conferee, but it is absolutely mystifying how these things just can sort of find their way in, into the final budget bill. Yes, I'm well aware. Sometimes even as a budget conferee, you're not necessarily aware of it. If I could get one in, I'd be glad to <laughs> And then any uh, legislation that failed, uh, you're talking about uh, Policy legislation is in the budget bill. <coughs> yeah, budget bill. Mm -hmm. Not in any bill that passes on the Correct. Yeah, and that happens to us. Shocking, isn't it? It is rather remarkable, and I, and I know how conscious you are, so I know you want to put a spotlight on it along with me. Well, I think it's usually spotlighted anyway. Um, 
I, um, I'm not being rhetorical, Mr. Chairman, and nor argumentative. It is not spot spotlighted. Um, I recall two years ago. I mean, usually, something like you brings it up. Well, I, and this is a good example. Two years ago, I recall we were on a fast track on getting the budget out, and I stood up on the floor of the Senate, and I asked uh, the conferees from the Senate. I said, "Has there been any insertions in this budget right along with this line?" And the answer was. I don't know and I'm not sure. And, and that, that wasn't a misrepresentation. I, you know, there's not, com and this isn't a criticism of anyone, but there's not complete transparency even within the conference committee. All right, nobody's going to speak against this, is that right? Now, can you speak against transparency? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the move and second. That uh, Senate Bill 1353 be recommended for reporting. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. The next one is Senate Bill 